a date because question one has to be passed now question one in mathematical literacy we expect and we predict that uh, it will have finance and data handling these questions will be made mixed up all right question two it's finance then question three data handling then question four and five now it goes back to integrated which simply means uh uh it will be mixed finance and data handling now another thing is that when we say integrated in context now this one will be a little bit advanced a little bit but not as easy as question one but it's still to be under the same concept of question one which says uh both finance and data handling in question one take note of that question one we have both this is what we expect in question one. You see that? Question two. Question two, we expect finance. Question three, we expect data handling. Question four, this takes you back to question one, integrated. Inter when you look at integrated, it means uh, you have concepts of uh, data handling and finance in the same question. All right concepts of finance and data handling same question uh question two finance data handling all right yes the growth chart this is the bmi we shall see it here and there including the data uh, the measures of spread in data handling now when you look at measures of spread we shall be looking at uh, measures of spread uh you look at your you look at your quartiles you look at your range and you look at your in the quartile then i'm asking uh or including the chart growth application of measures and now when you look at measures because uh, from the chart growth we get what we call what we get what we call the percentiles you understand so why do we look at quartiles in percentiles because you know q1 is 50 percent or, or the 50th percentile uh, sorry q1 is the 25th percentile q2 is the 50th percentile q3 Seventh, fifth percentile. We get this from the growth chart. You're right. Probability will be there, but in a small context. All right, finance. When we look at finance, this is what we expect you to come knowing. Under finance, we expect you to come knowing this, or you will be expected to know this. The financial documents and tariff system. We've seen this already. Financial documents, uh, we look at the um we look at the household household uh documents whereby we look at the uh, the bills, the electricity bill. Um we can also look at someone's bank statement, the financial document, bank statement. Then we shall also look at this shopping, 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 uh shopping list. Or oh, the till slip. Then they we shall look at. Uh, they we expect you to know that which will be here, 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 here. We have UIF, uh, VAT. Then the pay as you earn, pay as you earn. And the personal tax. This one here, if you remember it very well. The taxation that we, we go into. All right. Then tariff system. You've seen them. Still we have water. Uh, we have the electricity one. We have the electricity one. Uh, we have the call. Eh? Call options or the, you know, it might be also photocopier, photocopying papers. And you look at how to, how to, to compare option one to option two or option three, which option will have more, which option will be cheaper. You understand that and then we shall look at income and expenditure whereby we have profit and loss surplus and deficit all right income and uh expenditure statements uh 
this one we shall draw them like that one side you have income and the other side you have what expense it's more like a budget you understand more like a budget then cost and cost price and selling price the cp versus sp you understand whereby we say a profit will always equal to selling price minus cost price you remember that or oh, profit as a percentage profit as a percentage will always be selling price minus cost price divided by cost price times a hundred or oh, we also use this for we shall also use it for percentage change percentage change we shall use it for percentage change as time goes on we shall see break even point break even point come to an exam and you know break even point how do we tell the break even point it's a point where income income will always equal to expenditure or expense the same money you put in the same money you take out or the, the same money that goes out you understand income equals to expenditure take note there is no loss no loss no profit at break even point at break even point there's no loss there's no profit you understand break even point there's no loss there's no profit then we shall look at also we look at a uh, 5.5 which is the interest interest bank loans and investments these ones we've seen them already the loans which uh, we looked at the home loan whereby we, we take the month uh, monthly repayment we always equal to the loan amount divided by the by a thousand times the factor monthly repayment we looked at that investment uh, sorry interest we have what we call the compound interest and the simple interest compound interest and simple interest all right inflation inflation the general increase the general the general increase in prices of goods and in prices of goods and services the general increase in prices of goods and services still you have to know this that it's it will always be the current year minus the previous year divided by the previous year times a hundred this is if you're looking for inflation inflation rate if you're looking for inflation rate this is how we shall be doing it i've already talked of taxation where we expect to see uif vet the uh, you know exchange rate exchange rate uh changing here we shall be changing uh one currency to another currency you change one currency to another another currency you change one currency to another currency yes this one leads us to data handling whereby we look at classification organizing summarizing and representation remember they are let me see they have classify one two three four the fifth one is to create to create questions when we look at data data handling please just know that data we shall say data is a row row what row facts and data is split into two it's either numeric or categoric it's numeric or categoric and again numeric is also split into two it's either discrete discrete or continuous discrete or continuous we shall look at that also all right then uh another thing that we forgot uh, we looked about uh, we look at we shall look at uh, it's called uh, the first one to show the measures of uh, spread 
then we have measures measures of central measures of central tendons measures of central tendons are three of them we are by we have mean i usually call them triple m meld and median when is mean best representing data when numbers are closer to each other mod it's used when the data is categoric when data is categoric mod comes in then median we use it when we have what we call the outlier outlier that's this is when they are best in all right representing here, yeah, representing data, we shall expect you to know the graphs that we are using. All right. The graphs, the pie charts, uh, talk of uh, books and the uh, whiskers. No one will ask you to draw it, but you have to know how to interpret it. This diagram that looks like that. five point summary minimum then we have q1 q2 q3 and we have the maxima this you have to know how to interpret tell the difference between the bug graph bug graph and a histogram understand histogram used when the work is uh, when the data is continuous and bar graph it's good when the data is uh, discrete uh pie charts we use them when the data is in a form of as a whole like it's a whole sector of data you see that that's how we shall see summarizing data that's when we look at the measures of central tendencies uh, mean, mod, median, right? Organizing, organizing and classifying. Uh, the, here we look at the uh, frequency, the frequency table. The frequency table. This is all data handling. The frequency table, that table of views that you draw with the tarries. The frequency table comes here. All right. And this could be what you expect in paper one. But please, as you come, don't forget financial documents and tariff system, income, expenditure, profit, loss, profit or loss, income, income and expenditure statements. These you have to know how to interpret them. They might not tell you to draw. I know we drew it in grade 10, but in grade uh, 12, we shall expect you to interpret it. All right. What does uh, this, for example, the bank statement, uh, the debit side, what does it carry? The credit side, what does it carry? You understand? The credit, it will always be coming in. Debit, this is money going out. So you always subtract on the debit side as we add on the, as we add on the credit. And this will call on to get what we call the balance. You together the money comes in if it comes in let's say this is 300 then and previously here you had 700 the balance will become a thousand so if this side we have uh 550 going out so our balance here becomes uh 400 bought you know that's a credit comes in debit goes out we shall always look at that